this tutorial we're gonna learn how to add and change fake camera focus in adobe after effects we'll add a foreground object which is closer to the camera for a more realistic result the idea is this there will be this flower in the foreground and this person in the background and we're gonna change the focus from the foreground to the background I'll show a very simple trick to do this. We'll be using these two clips in our first example. We have a flower for the foreground and this beautiful lady in the background. The flower isn't transparent. So first, we need to remove the blue sky. Go to effects and presets and search key light. Apply it to the flower layer. Before we pick the blue color, I want to roughly mask the flower so it will be easier to select it. Select the pen tool and draw a path around the flower. Make sure you cover the flower for the whole clip. Now with the eyedropper, pick the blue color. If you hold Ctrl or Command, you will see the eyedropper gets a bit bigger. It's supposed to select a large range of blue color. There are some white areas here. We can fix it by changing the clip black or white. This looks okay. Now we are gonna add the blur. Again go to effects and presets and search Gaussian blur. Apply it in both the layers. For the flower layer, I want it to be in focus first and then slowly it will be out of focus as we focus on the subject in the background. At the first frame, add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon in blurriness. Here the blurriness will be 0 meaning it will be in focus. Now go to around 3 seconds and increase the blurriness. I'll increase a bit more than I should just to let you see the effects clearly. For the background, we'll do the exact opposite. At 3 seconds, the blur will be 0. Click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe here. Now go to the first frame and increase the blurriness. Now let's play it. We can also change the position of the flower. Select the flower layer and expand transform. Here you can adjust the scale, position or rotation. Ok, let's do the second example. Here I will use a PNG transparent photo. But the main difference is, here we have camera movements. In the first footage, there were some camera movements, but it was very subtle. Also the flower in the foreground was moving, so we just needed to place the foreground object. But in this case, the camera is moving a lot, so we need to follow one more extra step. We need to do a motion tracking. Select the video layer and go to tracker. We can find it in window tracker. There are few options, from here click track motion. We only need the position. Now we need to pick an area which is distinguishable. These two area in the background will work. Make the track point bigger and place it here. The inner box is the tracking area and the outer box is the search area. Now click analyze forward. After effects will automatically track it. But sometimes it may fail to track properly. In those cases you need to do it manually. I talked more about it in these tutorials. If you want to learn it in details, then please watch them. After Effects did a pretty good job tracking it. If you expand the video layer, then you can see all those tracking data are stored here. Now we are gonna store this tracking data into a null object. Right click, new and select null object. Now from tracker tab, select edit target and select the null object we just created. Now apply and hit ok. This will apply all those tracking data into the null object. Let's turn on the tree layer and reposition it. Now drag the pick whip icon and link it to the null object. Now when you play then you can see the tree is following the main footage. Next we are gonna add the blur. This will be the exact same process like the first example. At the end if you need to adjust the color or brightness to match the tree with the background then you can do it with a curve or hue saturation or lumetri color. So this is how you can add fake camera focus in Adobe After Effects. Hope you liked this video and learned something new from it. Like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thanks for watching.